All right, so here is the setup. It's kind of scuffed, you know. We got this. So first off, you see the setup. You know, we got headphones right here. These are pretty nice, not gonna lie. They're the HyperX Clouds. I don't think they have the Cloud 2s, but I got them for Christmas. I put the mesh paddings in instead of the leather ones because I really do prefer the mesh ones. If you guys could see, it's like squishy. The leather ones are nice, but like, I mean, they'll keep your head cool, the leather ones, but these ones like are less tight on your head and like they're more comfortable because they're more squishy and soft. And then right here, we got the Corsair M55 mouse. I could change the colors, but right now I have it for the temperature of my PC. I took all the weights out, and I don't know where the weights are. Actually, no, I assume. But the, I took the weights out, usually like right there, there, and there. I took the weights out because like I want a lighter mouse, you know, everything like that. Right here, we could change the DPI and stuff like that, see? See, we could like change all that stuff and then the scroll wheel. It's a decent mouse. It's like a wide kind of one. You don't really see many people use it, but it has a couple buttons on the side. This one you press in, it slows down your DPI. So it's like for aiming, obviously. Then, oh, then there's that button right there and that button right there. Usually for building a Fortnite is what I use it for. So good mouse. Then the mouse pad is what some of you guys have been uh, wanting to know. It's a Corsair mouse pad. I got it for five bucks during like Black Friday or something like that. So it's a nice one right there, right here. You got the Ann Pro 2 uh, keyboard. It's a nice one. Before that, I had a K55, which if you guys want to see that, I can show you guys that. But Ann Pro 2, it's a nice keyboard. It was $170, but I got it for uh, I got it for $70 because it was on sale. So I just decided to get it. And plus, I wanted a 60% keyboard because the one I had is 100%, and this one's 60%. So I have more mouse room and everything like that. It's really nice. And if you guys actually look closely, these keycaps are rubber keycaps. They're really nice keycaps. It helps me keep my grip better because these ones are a little like, uh, whatever it's called, like slime. No, not slimy, like slippery. I mean, they're still not bad, but like I'd rather. And then with them comes like these hard keycaps, which I can actually show you right here. Comes with more keycaps right here, I'll show you guys. But these, these like, listen, they sound like Legos in there. They're not the best in my opinion, but if you want to use keycaps like this, it's, it's, it's not the best worst thing you know you could do just your preference if you want to customize your keyboard but i put the red leds because like my keycaps are red so i decided to do that and then now over here you know you got the mic it's a good mic uh blue yeti it's kind of what a lot of people have and then i also have this right here you know it's makes your p's don't sound i'm not explaining it like i'm not explaining it but it makes your p's sound like better than they would and then your S's and make it so your S's don't sound as sharp. So you put that on. And also it protects it from like if you spit or something. Has like a volume thing or if you plug in your headphones, but I really like never do that. And then on the back side of it, I could actually show you guys if I can. Can you guys see? There's like a gain button right there. So that's a pattern. There's the gain. The gain is like the volume of the mic. The pattern's like if I want people to hear me from this side and that side, but I don't usually do the back side because then people will hear my keyboard more. I have this very cheap boom arm, like, listen. It, it's pretty bad, I don't know how much it was, but there's like the screw thing that I usually screw in and it keeps it pretty snug, but then I can't like squeak it. I mean, not squeak it, but you know what I'm talking about. My cord management is not the best, but I'm gonna try and improve it. Over here, we got a Xbox One S, all white edition. It's a very nice one. It was one terabyte. I got it for $180 during Black Friday a year ago. It's a nice console, not get a lot. I used it for like the beginning of my channel and when I started Fortnite, but now I play on PC, so I don't really use my console anymore. I could do a giveaway if you guys would like to see that. Drop a like, I might do a giveaway. I don't know yet because I don't really use this that much. And then the controller is just, I'll show you guys. It's just a basic white controller. Doesn't have any paddles or anything like that. It's not a scuff. Nothing fancy, just a normal one that I use for Fortnite when I used to play on console until I switched to PC. And then there's like a play and charge cord, which is pretty nice too. And then I just use a lamp when I'm streaming and everything like that. I don't really like turning on the big light. It's like a titty one, you know? So I don't really use it. Um, here is the mic for 
this headset, but I don't really use it because I only use it if I'm like gonna talk on console. So yeah. And then for this, this um, what's it called? Monitor. It's a very nice monitor. I can actually like do this. I can move it up so it's like angle better. And I can also do it like that, you know, like all the way vertical. Holy oh, shit. All right. And then I can also like tilt it like backwards so it's like coming towards me. I don't know how to explain it, but there's all that stuff. And there's also like, if I go press on it, there's like, look at this. There's like blue light filter. There's all these different cool things that you can do and mess around with. And then over here, so I play Fortnite right there. Everything for gaming is right there on Fortnite. And then right here I got Twitter. And then right here I got like my stream, like so I can actually watch my stream. And then right here will be for my chat. I keep my chat right there, but it's like a little bigger than that because that's very small. It's like almost the size of my peen, like it's almost that small. But right here we got like YouTube Studio and like things I run in the background so that's nice and this monitor is a Asus one this one's also Asus but this one was like $120 it's not the best and this one was like 200 like I'm not gonna be gaming on this one so I didn't really feel like I had to get something really good so I just got that you know and then for the webcam you got this Logitech uh, C920 I think it was everything will be in the description. I don't really know all the stuff. So most of the stuff will be in the description for you guys to look at. And there's like a little arm for it too, which is pretty cool, you know? Like clamped. I ordered it not too long ago and I haven't taken off that wrap, but it's whatever, I don't really care. It's a nice one, like this camera, I can go like that, you know? And then I can like twist, you know, just in case I'm doing something over there. Right here, we got a little headphone stand. It's not bad, I don't really use it though. I usually just put my headphones right there just because it's easier. I already showed you guys the keycaps, but if you guys are interested in these keycaps right here, I'll show you, these are them right here. Rubber double shot backlit keycaps. You use this, it's really easy to actually take them off. Non-slip diamond texture, it's pretty nice, like you can't even see it through. And then those are my regular ones for the actual keyboard and then ease typing fatigue for both hands and increase typing speed diamond texture and anti slippery and then there's all this stuff on the back if you guys want to pause the video and look at all the stuff you can but you don't have to obviously and i also have you know g fuel here's the cup I usually like never wash it out if i'm about to use it i'll just do a quick rinse of water pour it out and put actual water in it to drink so this is my G Fuel thing. I just decided to get it with it because like, I don't know, I didn't want to get just water bottles. So yeah, I didn't want just to use water bottles. I thought it'd be cool to have this. Plus it was on sale. I got it when G Fuel was like 40% off or something like that. So I got that. And then for the flavor, I got these one. This one right here. Tropical rain, you know, gives you that energy, focus, endurance, and reaction time. Like. What a phenomenal gaming experience it gives you, you know? Servings, you know, there you go, 40 servings. Have I had that much? I don't even know, dude. Like, that's actually kind of insane, bro. And so I'm pretty sure I went over everything in my setup. If I am missing anything, you guys learn. Oh, sorry, my PC. Oh, my God. All right, let's go. PC. Let me get on the ground. Ugh. Okay, so, you know, you got the power button, you got some cords right there. One of them's for my headset, and the other one's for something else. I don't I don't know what that one, this one right here is. The one on the left, I don't know what that's for. Sometimes I'll plug in stuff, there's a lot of dust I need to clean, but I don't know how. Um, so in the PC, I have some Fantex in there, you know. God always had the Fantex, and then we also have a Fantex fan, I think that is right there. And we got an MSI, MSI motherboard thing. And then the thing on the back has a lot of like needles and lines for something. On the bottom we got an LED strip. We got this big thing right here, I think it's a fan, it's like the main fan of the PC. And those little two thingies, I think, are my processor. 
or my RAM, I'm not too sure. Then we got a little cord for something. I think the cord's for RAM. Um, we got my CPU in there. It's like a Ryzen 5. I have I have all of like my PC part boxes, but I don't think you guys really care about seeing them. So, And then back here, you know, we got more cords. I mean, yeah, more cords for everything. Uh, we got an Ethernet spot on my case. And some other really good parts. So that's the PC. I think I did everything. I don't think I could change the color on that LED strip. I might have to look into my PC's like BIOSware or something like that. I think that's what it's called. I have to look into that. So yeah, we got the power button to turn this baby on. We got Ow! Ooh! Ow! Oh chat. I mean not chat. Did you guys hear that? Okay. If you guys made it this far, let me know if you heard that, alright? We got a brightness thing. I'm not pressing that anymore. I literally like put my finger on that and it just shocked me. So it's a nice um PC thingy. Um, yeah, it's a nice computer and then Yeah, so I'll, I'm gonna have everything in the description for My setup so stay tuned for that. You know, you got the we went over the keyboard went over the mouse the uh, Mouse pad the monitors both of the monitors. I don't know if I showed you guys the Elgato But I also have an Elgato back there for when I actually used to do games on my Xbox and everything like that. So I've got to back there just in case I decide to fire anything up like that. I don't like that again. But here, actually, let me show. Let me show you guys my old. Um, here, I'm gonna show you guys my old keyboard. I don't know if you guys are interested, but here's my old keyboard. It's not bad. Here's my old keyboard. But like, here, let me let me put them side by side. Just like so. Like, look at that. Hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up. Let me count it. Okay. If you guys look. Like, look at the diff look at the size difference. Like, I don't have all those numb locks. Or the G thingies on the side. Better for some, but. So that's basically the setup. If you guys did enjoy this video. And you guys want me to come out with another set of video. After. I get my new setup let me know and I will do so so I will see you all in the next video I'll have a wonderful day use code daddy dash riser hashtag ad